Hi, my name is uh, Nata Forni, and I'm going to show you my uh, conversion of a scooter from uh, gas to electric. I'm sorry for the poor English because uh, I'm French. Um, I made this scooter from uh, Yamaha Biwizer. It's a uh, 50cc. This model is two place and really small and this is because I take it. I simply keep the original things like the brake, the flashlight, the, the flasher, the brake light, the front light and uh, I put the, I switched the mother. So I took a mother from um, the things to clean the, the floor on industries a 24 volt mother it runs pretty slow so uh, I was obligated to simply put gear to make the, the wheel run faster with the mother a big wheel on the mother and a small wheel on the shaft well I simply removed the piston and instead the piston I put the electric mother but the electric mother was more tall than the original piston so I put a, a longer chuck to simply put more space between the, the seat and the wheel and now the suspension can react uh, while you take uh, the road uh, I simply put that back uh, to protect the gear and uh, the strap it's a strap uh, between the two gear. Uh, there's always the pad for the second uh, passenger. Well, I used two solenoid to activate the motor. At the beginning I was supposed to use a controller with the, the knob here, but uh, it was really expensive and complicated. So there is two solenoid in series and uh, you simply activate them with the the start button and the kill switch is useful to cut the power off and you need to put that on and put the key on too though so there and that's why there is two solenoid uh, the solenoid are normally closed uh, I mean normally open and uh, when the power is out they simply close and no more power pass so uh, this is more uh, safe uh, the battery are located on the rack. They are uh, here. There's that's two. Uh, I don't know what is the name in English, but a battery who discharge slowly. Uh, at the beginning, I put two car battery there, and uh, the scooter was really, uh, really, uh, really uh, got a lar large weight, and it run really slow. But with those battery at the same voltage go really much better but uh, I tried to to boost boost it with a 36 volt and with the 36 volt I was able to go at 92 kilometer per hour and with the 24 battery I'm now able to go at 70 uh, 70 kilometer per hour but uh, the 20 the, um, the 92 km per hour was a little bit too fast because the original scooter can go at 80 km per hour. Uh, that was hard because the, the, lights, the lights start when you start the engine and now there is no more engine. So I simply connect the, um, the two lights with the switch directly connect to the battery. But you need to put a battery uh in the simply one battery because there's that's 24 volt and you need simply one battery voltage for the the lights and uh, that's the same uh, circuit for uh, the the lights uh, on the rear and everything uh, i changed the the uh, speedometer indicator because uh, the original was not working really well and with this one i can I can see my top speed and I can see the the, the odometer, the distance I run with it uh, from when I build it. Uh, so this is my electric scooter. I simply put a sticker to 
say to everyone I'm electric. For now, I don't think this is really legal, but I still keep the original matriculation from Quebec. I will probably soon add more battery because uh, with those battery, it cost me uh, like $300. The scooter, $300. The motor, $100. The solenoid, $50. The speedometer indicator, like $20. All the wires, like $100. So the total is approximately $1,000. But it's cheap to run with it because it is electric. And you can do with those two batteries, like uh, 30 kilometers. And with the car battery, you will have to do uh, 15 kilometer. Well, this is my electric scooter, homemade build. Less expensive, you can go on the road instead uh, place for bike. And it makes no sound when you uh, push the power button. Thanks for watching and I'm still sorry for the poor English. And, uh, Thank you.